guys, welcome back to another one. If you were new to the channel, I am Gold Pony. I do new car, truck, SUV reviews on YouTube. And today, we are in the new 2021 Volkswagen Arteon, courtesy of Hanover Volkswagen in Hanover, PA. For more information on their inventory, please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. And so, wanted to hop in this one today because there are actually plenty of new changes for the 2021 model year. This is a very good looking sedan as well. Also, four year, 50,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty. That's also above the average. So that's pretty cool too. Two years free maintenance. That's also very nice because that means you don't have to pay for oil changes and tire rotations, things like that for the first two years of ownership. And so, in this video, Video, I will be going over everything about this one, testing out acceleration, braking, ride quality, sound system, exhaust clip, all that fun stuff. So having said all of that, what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing. So as you can imagine, there are a few different trim levels for the 2021 Arteon. First one being the SE, starting at $36,995. SEL R-Line for $41,595. And lastly, the one we have today being the SEL Premium R-Line, starting at $46,995. And so, Regardless of trim level that you go with, the power plant on the Arteon will be the same. Powering this beast is a two liter turbocharged inline four cylinder, putting out 268 horsepower at 5,500 RPM, 258 pound-feet of torque available at around 1,900 RPM. Power sent to front wheels or all wheels through an eight-speed automatic with paddle shifters, which you guys know we will be testing out in a little bit here. Zero to 60 time comes in at approximately 6.3 seconds with MPG numbers coming in at 20 in the city. 31 on the highway taking premium unleaded fuel and so but before we do that paddle shifter test or acceleration test it would have mentioned to you guys there are of course some drive modes for this one the drive mode button is labeled mode it is located directly behind the push button start so what those drive modes will include is eco comfort normal sport and custom custom being the one you can of course tailor to your own liking but those drive modes will adjust things like the shift points the throttle response the steering sensitivity and actually the suspension setting as well you don't always get that but the reason you get that with the Arteon is because you actually have adaptive damping suspension and so for example if you were to put it in sport driving mode you're gonna stiffen those damper settings but if you were to put it in comfort mode that will relax those damper settings a little bit allowing for a smoother ride so to speak so having said all of that now what do you guys say let's go ahead and find a straightaway and let's test out the paddle shifters here first to put it in full manual shift mode what I'm going to do is slide the shifter all the way to the back and to the right it actually tells you what gear you're in up on that digital gauge cluster which i'll show you guys in a little bit here too but having said that let's go ahead and find that straight away and let's see how quickly these paddle shifters are going to react for us here all right guys here we go good good okay definitely very quick reacting paddle shifters without a doubt having said that wouldn't have minded if the paddle shifters weren't the boring black plastic maybe some silver coated paddle shifters or even better aluminum at fifty thousand dollars i think it's uh definitely doable but nonetheless the paddle shifters are still ridiculously quick just like audi i guess you could say so absolutely no issues there but now let's go ahead and find a straightaway let's get back full control to the rt on we're just going to slide the shifter back to the left basically and still have it in sport mode let's see how quickly this one can get us up to speed all right you guys in three two one let's kick it <laughs> yeah buddy that'll work absolutely love that we did not slip whatsoever a lot of sedans will come with front wheel drive including the Arteon actually so I love that it offers all-wheel drive like we have right there because when you put that kind of power to just the front wheels you're probably gonna get some torque steer can't tell you necessarily whether or not that's the case with the Arteon because we got all-wheel drive today and there was no slippage plenty of an acceleration from merging onto the highway or anything like that so really quite nice when it comes to the acceleration there but to go along with that as always braking is equally important and so up front you will find 13.4 inch ventilated front discs in the back 12.2 inch ventilated rear discs as far as the 60 to 0 stopping distance goes that comes in at 114 feet which is plenty respectable a lot of sedans will give you the 120s if not 130 so 114 feet is definitely quite nice as far as the braking feel goes it may be a little bit on the softer side but there's no issues there's no brake pedal delay or anything like that so it's plenty fine for me touching on 
suspension and handling. Up front, you're gonna get a McPherson strut front suspension. In the back, independent multi-link rear suspension, front and rear stabilizer bars. And the very best part about it all is the adaptive damping suspension. And so essentially what that is, is it's gonna monitor each shock absorber individually, tightening up the suspension during heavy cornering, but also reading the roads imperfections and then giving you a smoother ride, soaking up those road imperfections by adjusting that there as well. So really, it gives you the best of both worlds. So I love when vehicles put adaptive damping suspensions on their cars for that reason, because it really does give you a much smoother ride than you otherwise would get if you did not have it. So having said that, when it comes to ride quality, it is plenty fine in the Arteon. Can feel maybe a little bit more of the road than some of its competitors, but still, because of that adaptive damping suspension, it's still plenty fine, so no issues there for me. As far as steering feel goes, it is a noticeable difference dependent upon which driving mode that you put it in. So since I have it in the sport driving mode right now, it is a much heavier weighted steering feel, and I like that. I probably would leave it in that. You know, what I'd probably do is put it in the custom driving mode, actually, because then you can make it that heavy steering feel with without the instant acceleration at all times because you don't always need that quite honestly. So no issues with the steering. As far as cabin noise goes, other than my camera equipment a little bit, there's no exterior wind noise really coming into the cabin whatsoever. So that is on point as well. And touching on visibility, I can see decent out the back. I will say those headrests in the second row kind of protrude into the visibility ever so slightly, but not quite as good as some of the competitors, but still you're not gonna have any issues there. So that is plenty fine. And not to mention rain sensing windshield wipers also coming standard on the Arteon for all trim levels. So I absolutely love that as well. Essentially what that is, is the windshield wipers are gonna turn on automatically for you whenever the Arteon detects any kind of mist or rainfall. So it's just one last thing you gotta worry about. So that's pretty cool too. But that about rounds out the performance segment of this review, you guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of this brand new 2021 Volkswagen Arteon. All right, so here she is, you guys, the new 2021 Volkswagen Arteon finished in onyx white pearl, which, by the way, is an optional paint color for this one, in case anybody was curious. But let's go ahead and start up front on this one. There's actually several minor revisions on the exterior for the 2021 Arteon. So let's go ahead and start up front. To start with, there is a new lower bumper design and grille, by the way. Also a new LED light bar stretching between the two headlights. You guys can kind of see that to the sides of the Volkswagen emblem there. The light bar actually is is incorporated kind of into the grill and it matches up then with the LED light bar found just below the headlights as well. Also, you have that R design found in the upper portion of that front grill as well. So that definitely looks good. Then taking a step back, LED headlights do come standard on this one. Of course, they come with the automatic feature as well, meaning when it starts to get dark at night, those headlights will turn on automatically for you there. LED daytime running lights, as I said. And I also like the low hood line in the front as well. Definitely gives it much more of an aggressive appearance. Overall, a very nice looking front end to the Arteon. But now, let's go ahead and make our way to the side of this one. And so to start, chrome window surrounds do come standard. Also, chrome accenting on the side skirts down below. You guys can see that as well. R-Line badging can be found on that front fender if you go with one of the R-Line trim levels, of course. When it comes to those side mirrors, they are power adjustable body colored side mirrors for all trim levels. They will also come heated with LED integrated turd signals as well, also very nice. And if you're ready to go with the SEL R-Line trim level and up, you're also going to get a driver's side auto dimming mirror as well, which is brilliant, especially when you're driving at night and somebody's got their high beams on behind you. So that's always good. But then take a look down at the wheel setup, it's actually going to differ pretty substantially amongst the trim levels. SE trim is going to give you 18 inch five spoke alloys, SEL 19 inch multi spoke alloys, and the premium that we have today 20 inch multi spoke alloy wheels. As I said, quite a big difference between those trims. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the back on this one. It's open now since we are around back. Up top, you will find a gloss black shark fin antenna. Just below that, gloss black rear spoiler. If you were to go with one of the R line trims, that's how you're going to go ahead and get that. LED taillights actually come standard across the board. Also, the redesigned Volkswagen emblem, which is yet another new slight change for the 2021 Arteon. Wanted to mention that. Also, new Arteon badging just below that. A little bit different font, I guess you could say. That 4Motion logo in the bottom corner there, that is going to be the 4Motion all-wheel drive system. So, that is what that is. Also, wanted to mention at this point, since I forgot to previously, there are three new colors. One of them being the white color that we have today. There is also King's Red metallic and lapaz blue 
as well. But now, making our way to the very bottom of this one, you do have dual exhaust outlets with chrome tips integrated into the rear bumper. It's a very high-end look and I love it, but nonetheless, I do believe you guys know what we have to do next. As always, here is that exhaust clip. And so now since we are still around back one of the coolest parts about opening this rear hatch i guess you could say is there's a couple different ways i guess the more boring way i guess is there is a button on the key fob that is one way there is also a button on the driver's side door as well but the coolest way is going to be the volkswagen logo itself it of course doesn't look like it's going to open the hatch but if you guys know volkswagens you know if you simply just press in on the top portion of that volkswagen logo the rear hatch is going to open up for you so that's pretty cool but nonetheless once opened up cargo capacity comes in in a very impressive 27.2 cubic feet that is a ton that is a ridiculous amount but anyways there is also a 60 40 split bumping that up to 56.2 cubic feet so that's even more that's also very good as well and there's actually a good bit going on back there there's some led cargo lighting i saw there's also grocery bag hooks you usually don't find those in sedans you find them in suvs but not sedans so that is pretty cool to find back there too just underneath of the cargo floor you actually do have a spare tire in case anybody was curious about whether you get that or the fixify you get the spare tire which i personally prefer also there's a little bit of storage in the back sides there as well but now let's go ahead and make our way up to the rear legroom where it comes in in an impressive 40.2 two inches so that is of course a good bit for reference i mean even six feet tall this is how much space i have back there three zone climate control one dimension does come standard for every single trim level meaning rear passengers can actually set their own temperature back there if they wanted to so that's pretty nice also there is a rear center armrest with cup holders that does come standard back there there's also heated rear seats if you want with the premium that we have today so i loved seeing that meaning you get to spoil the rear passengers a little bit back there as well and again LED lighting in the back seats as well. So that's very nice. Also wanted to mention that there is a 12 volt power outlet and a phone charging port for those rear passengers then as well. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the front seats. VTEX leatherette seating with the SE. Napa leather seating for the SEL and premium trim. So therefore that is of course what you guys are looking at right now. Power adjustable front seats with power lumbar for all trims across the board. Heated front seats for all trims as well. And you will get ventilated front seats if you were to go with the premium trim that we do indeed have here today. And actually to adjust those heated and ventilated seats, it's a nice digital kind of setup directly in front of the shifter. So I absolutely love that as well. So you don't always get the digital options. So I'm definitely a fan. And actually seating was plenty comfortable for me so absolutely no issues there but then take a look one of my favorite parts and the first thing i noticed when i hopped in this one the steering wheel it is tilt and telescoping of course leather wrapped for all trim levels heated for the premium by the way that heated steering wheel button is located on the right hand side of the steering wheel itself but the 10 and 2 grips are bolstered very thickly and i absolutely love it i like the new volkswagen logo in the middle i like that it's a flat bottom i like the little r insignia at the very bottom as well and overall what i like the best is the 10 and 2 grips they're definitely on the thicker side and you don't always get that so i personally am a big fan for that reason but now let's go ahead and make our way to the startup let me start by showing you guys the key you do have your volkswagen logo on the one side and when you flip it around lock unlock that button to pop the rear hatch and the times two button is going to be your remote start and that's pretty cool of course as well and by the way that comes with the sel and premium not the se in case anybody was curious but you do get a push button start for all trim levels so all i'm going to do is simply put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button located just to the left of the shifter there and so but then once started up another very cool feature about the rt on you do get a full digital gauge cluster for every single trim level and so i absolutely love that volkswagen digital cockpit is what they call it so it will adjust colors dependent upon the drive mode that you put it in i found that pretty cool and it's more than just two colors so i thought that was pretty cool also of course you can adjust what is displayed up there by using the steering wheel mounted controls on the right side of the steering wheel giving you things like trip a trip b how many miles you have left until you hit empty you can check out the outside temperature speed limit of any given road i found that pretty cool as well there's your navigation information audio settings bluetooth information some of the car statistics i guess you could say and the list goes on really so quite a bit you could check out up there but then making our way to overall interior quality we'll get a titan black headliner for the sel and premium trims i will say 
It is a pretty soft headliner and I do like it. So not too shabby there. Also overhead sunglass holder does come standard across the board as well. Auto dimming rear view mirror, all trims get that as well. Three zone climate control, all trims get that. Stainless steel pedal caps, all trims get that as well. So Volkswagen really hooks you up with a good bit of standard interior features, I guess you could say. So that's pretty cool. If you were to go with the SEL trim level or premium, you do get multicolor ambient lighting, which I absolutely love wireless phone charger as well for either of those trims. You actually also get a fairly large sunroof. I'm not sure if I would call it panoramic because it doesn't go into the rear seats, but it is a fairly large sunroof for the premium trim level only. Just behind the shifter, you do have an electric mechanical parking brake. There is your dual cup holders. There is a 12 volt power outlet behind that shifter as well. There is two phone charging ports within the center armrest then too. Overall, the interior quality isn't bad. It's probably not what I would consider $50,000 worth but it's certainly not bad so i do like the stitched leather found on the doors that's pretty cool also the uh carbon fiber ish looking silver trim now just above the infotainment screen it also continues on to the doors there as well but i will say it's not bad but it's not quite as good as some of the other competition that i've seen and we'll say that but now let's go ahead and check out the tech display this is done pretty well eight inch color touchscreen display does come standard for every single trim level bluetooth audio streaming also standard android auto apple carplay meaning if you have a smartphone simply hook it up to the RT on you get free navigation up there as well that's pretty cool factory navigation system though does come standard my personal opinion is not as good as the Google Maps used in Android Auto but it is going to be there for you weather information you can display up there as well fuel prices and of course your radio information and so sound systems there will be two of them so if you go with the SE or SEL you get eight speakers if you go with the premium you get a 12 speaker Harman Kardon sound system with 700 watts so that, of course, is the one we have today. So let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing, and let's test out the clarity of this one. Definitely very nice. The clarity, I think, is what impressed me the most with that Harman Kardon sound system. It was crystal clear, felt like it was coming in all directions. Bass was definitely nice as well, but definitely a very good sound system for the Arteon without a doubt. But last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on that tech display is when you do put this one in reverse, you will find a rear view camera coming standard across the board. And if you were to go with the premium trim level, you will, in addition to that, get a bird's eye view camera as well, which is pretty cool. But nonetheless, that is going to lead us into safety. And so first thing I wanted to mention, this one is an IIHS top safety pick, which pretty much says it all right there. Front side side current airbags also come standard. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats. Rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system. That's all pretty boring at this point, but also standard for all trim levels. You will get a blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert, forward collision warning with autonomous emergency braking, pedestrian monitoring as well. And if you were to go with the SEL or premium trims, you get in addition to that adaptive cruise control, speed limit recognition, automatic high beams, lane keep assist, and front and rear parking sensors then as well. And so overall, when it comes to my final thoughts of this one, this is an extremely good looking sedan. I am sitting here at a local park and somebody actually just walked right up to me with their dog and they said this was one of the best looking cars they've ever seen and they were wondering where they could go about looking at it and so i told them of course hanover volkswagen and hanover pa and i'm pretty sure their dog was eyeing it up too but nonetheless iihs top safety pick also a very good plus on this one digital gauge cluster is freaking good as well multicolor ambient lighting is great two years free maintenance of course also a big perk on the room for improvement i would say two main things really stick out for me one is it is a bit pricier than the competition so if you're a volkswagen fan though i can completely understand this pick it is a really good vehicle and you do get an amazing all-wheel drive system with a decent amount of power fast paddle shifters but it is still a bit pricier and there are less expensive options that basically give you what this car is giving you also, the interior quality could be a bit better considering the price point of the Arteon. So, overall, that's what I got. Let me know what you guys think of the Arteon in the comment section below. That is about it for this one, you guys. Feel free to follow me on TikTok at the bottom of the screen there. If you like, be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button. If you're into new car reviews, that is what we do here on this channel. After all, do appreciate you guys watching more than you know. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.